Hey folks, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com, just driving the Exceed RC Dynamite from NitroRCX.com. Cost about 110 bucks, ready to run, uh, with a brushed motor set up in it, and it comes with a battery, a basic battery and a wall charger. This video is of course not a review, this video is just showing you some raw, mostly unedited driving footage from my test sessions with this vehicle. All of this uh, testing goes into the process of doing a review, so be on the lookout for a actual review video that sums up uh, all of the different factors of driving this thing in different environments and its durability and its overall value and all that. Right here, this is bone stock Except for one thing, I, I did change the battery because uh, it does only come with one battery and on this day I, I had already used up the charge on that and I wanted to keep running so I, I threw in my weakest, um, most basic, most lightweight uh, and oldest uh, uh, LiPo stick pack. It's a 7.4 volt battery pack, not a racing pack by any means, uh, definitely the weakest one that I have right now but uh, it is a little bit faster than the stock battery uh, not by a huge amount but just by a little bit have not done any changes to the suspension here it's still running the, the stock shock oil which is way too light uh, for the vehicle and it's also running the stock tires which really don't have a tread that's very particularly good for anything and yet somehow or another thing is actually getting around the track pretty well uh, for a $110 vehicle ready to run with the battery I mean, you can go to Toys R Us and actually occasionally find some toy grade RC's that cost about the same as that or pretty close uh, considering what you pay for it it is able to get around this particular uh, environment pretty well it's definitely not a racing racing uh, vehicle it doesn't have the greatest performance but I think for the cost I was definitely having a good time just bombing around in stock form on this day I was not able to focus 100% on driving here because I was operating the camera also uh, it does get a little bit better when I'm just focusing on driving by itself but all things considered not too bad but do watch out for the full review video because this here is just showing you what it looks like on one particular type of driving environment and I did, a, did run it on a bunch. I did do some durability testing on it and it has pros and cons so please make sure that you're subscribed to the Ultimate RC Network channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash Ultimate RC Network and I hope that I will be able to see you also showing up on the friendly forums at ultimatercom That's it for now. I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.